I mean, do you really think that this I, guy who's been living in this town his entire life and has never moved is gonna like sporadically show up somewhere else? He's lived here forever. He's old as fuck. He, yeah. Plus, if he leaves his magical shop, he's gonna have a lot more items to worry about than the ones that get stolen. But Sansil's not even mad at us. He will be. When I know. So his rings are leave. Missing. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we should leave notice. before he realizes. Ryan, Listen, we almost muted. we're on a we're on a tight leash here. Um, Sansa alone almost killed us all, and then with the uh, dwarf kid and all of his friends, they would fuck us up. They they took us down once. We we can't we can't really fight them, so we should run. All right, if, if I can't convince you guys to stay. Let's uh, let's go see what we can do about getting a couple of horses. It's the middle of the night, by the way. I'm just letting you guys know that. Let's go see what we can do about stealing a couple of horses. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good. Um, on that note, do I have one invisibility left, JP? Uh, or was that the last? Yes, because you haven't used any okay. since you used them in the building, right? On the house on the hill. Right. Yeah, so you have yep. one left before you have to buy reagents. Okay. Um, wait, I have to buy... What the fuck is... Uh, what is this material? Bubble... Uh, wait. Gum Arabic. Mmm. Gum Arabic. Neil can probably explain that better. Because he explained it to me once upon a time. <laughs> what is it? It's the sticky stuff that makes... I, I'm not really sure. Maybe. <laughs> I don't actually know. Wait, so you just BS this shit to me a long time ago? I never told you. Did I? Okay, what, <laughs> when, where would I get it then? Uh, you find it like a wizard shop. It's, it's, oh, it's um, sap. That's what it is. It's a natural yeah, gun natural made of hardened sap hard taken sap. from two species of the Arcadia, or Arcacia tree? Acacia. Acacia tree. I don't know. Okay, do you know where Acacia tree is? Because I don't want to go to the fucking... Somalia, Sengal, and Sahel. And also Evan. Arabia and West Asia. Or at your local wizard shop. Or you can make it okay. with glycoproteins and polysaccharides. You don't know how to do that. Okay, well, we're not, I'm not going back to the wizard shop, so fuck it. I'll just be careful with my last invisibility until we get to a different town. Okay. Uh, okay, can I just... let's go steal some horses. Okay, how do you... Riley, uh, and you, you, you're probably going to be uncomfortable with this. If you want, you can just meet us at the edge of town, and we'll we'll ride out in a couple. We'll steal a horse for you. Well, she's already got a uh, what's her what's his name? What are you? You know my horse's name, Cobblepot. Argo. Arnold. Argo. Art. <laughs> I'm gonna get a horse, and I'm gonna call him Largo. What? What am I going to be uncomfortable <laughs> with? Uh, uh, well, I mean, we're gonna do some, I mean, some stealing. Yeah, I'm used to it. Don't worry. Okay. Good. Do we want to wait for the cams? Uh, all the cams are fine for me. I think it's there just riches that was there. Okay. Um, hey, now you're all fixed. You gotta, cool. I mean, what do you guys do? I can't just be like, all right, you guys steal some horses. Okay, so we go to, we go to, uh, the... <laughs> The stables or whatever. Okay. Okay. You you make your way out. Yeah, we're of wearing. The... We're, are we wearing like black cloaks? Do we have those? <laughs> like hoodies? I don't think you would just magically have them. No. Um. Are there any horses just tied up outside, easily accessible? <laughs> no. Horse theft is a pretty big crime. Rich says. At least where I come from, punishment for stealing a horse is death. So. uh just know what we're getting into. People don't give a shit here, I think. But uh, if we steal the horses, we maybe we should, we need an excuse. We should we 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 would just go like it's for fix or something. Uh, I think if we steal some horses and we. I mean, how much are horses? We could always we could always just leave gold at the stable. Oh, we could just legitimately buy horses too. That's true. I mean, we'd, that we'd, we'd have, have to wait until have the day. Have to wait till the morning. Yeah. 
Well, we could also just leave a night without horses. Okay, let's go. Yo, how let's, how locked walk. up are these horses, JP? Uh, I mean, there's there's a lock on a gate where the horses are uh, stabled inside of this this building. Can I? There's, there's no one. To invent a skeleton. What time gate? is it? Uh, it's around midnight. You guys have been talking for a while, and you went back to the bar and, and had a drink or two at the end of the last episode, so... Did I leave my horse at the bar or inside a stable? Uh, you left it at, like, the horse trough outside of the bar. Okay. What if we just wake up the stable person? Well, why don't we try this? Maybe people are staying late at the bar. Maybe they rode in on horses. We could take those. Those probably won't be locked up. Sure, let's do it. Okay. So you guys walk back to the bar? Yeah. You walk back to the bar and realize that you already had horses and they're at the bar. <laughs> Excellent! <laughs> I mount on my horse. Yeah, we all okay. We all get on our horses. <laughs> we have horses. <laughs> Apparently, yeah, we rode into I town. Pet, <laughs> I pet <Yeah>. Largo. <laughs> <laughs> you pet Largo, okay. Largo and Argo. Yeah. So Ryan. Yeah, Ryan's being pet right now, man. It's happening. All right, you guys uh, are on your horses outside the bar. Do we okay, have, guys, let's get have a map out. of the area. Why, did, why the hell did Skype the just lose all of the cameras? Yeah, I just... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Skype, uh -oh. keep being awesome. You fucking worthless program. Neil, turn your cam back on. Skype, keep being awesome. Neil. I, I'm, it's go. coming, it's coming. It's... <laughs> what do you guys do? You're on your horses in town. Do we have a map at all? Of the town, yeah. In Roll20. I mean, not of the town, of the world at large. I mean, what are you looking for? You, you, you know, know what? Another town. Why don't we just follow the road? I'm pretty sure the road goes to another town. They'll find us on right. the road pretty easily. Yeah, I think we should yeah. stay close to the road. But we should, well, but I mean, we, they're not we really leave looking at night, for we us. We take right the road. Now. They're not going to follow think, us. Like, I, think they are, I think they are looking for us, or at least following us. Because when I came back to Zan's little shop, the guards had followed me there. I'm yeah, just saying, was... if we hop on this road and take the road, what are they going to do? Like, show up in another town and be like, these guys stole stuff? Like, we can deal with it then. Just We're going to spend, like, four hours pussyfooting around trying to figure out where we should go. Let's just hop on the road and ride out. There we can were go a three ton of over. guards that followed over. us. I don't right. see any guards following us now. Let's just go to the next town. Or we could go, like, six towns over. That'll throw them off. I like I it. Look... Oh, it's dark outside. Let's uh, go. Cobblepot, can you look around right now to see if there are any guards? Do I see any guards? Uh, I mean, you see the the average, however many people you would see in the middle of the night at midnight walking around. You don't really see any guards stationed outside the bar. Um, at least in your immediate area, you don't see any guards. Mm, not really. I think we can just okay, kind of head go. out. Let's ride a let's ride single file, like sand people. Yeah. Neil or <laughs> Caitlin should lead. Mm, actually, uh, shit, Rich. I think I should probably lead because I can see the best at dark. Okay, right. you're comfortable with that. I will. I will be at the back since I'm. I can see almost the best at dark. You guys just follow me. Is no, there any moonlight so that our horses can see the road? Oh yeah, totally. Okay. I will cast uh, strength on uh, Rich. Okay. Sweet. Uh, can you give me a d4? Whoever wants to roll for that. Roll d4? Yeah. Cool. Or wait. Wouldn't Rich roll it? Or uh, do I roll it? Actually, you roll a d8 for a warrior. Yeah, you oh, do. cool. Here you go, mister. Six. So you're at, it caps at 18, right? Warrior has 18 strength already. For 10 it caps at 18? I, I'm, I'm looking over the spell right now. Strength typically caps at 18 for PCs. Oh. Well, I mean, it doesn't spill over to 18-10, 20, 30, 40, 50. That's what I'm looking at. It says if Warrior has 18 strength already, from 10% to 80% is added to his extraordinary strength roll. So I guess per dice, it adds a 10%. Yeah. Sounds so right. you go up to... 18-20? 18-20. Yeah. 
No, because mm. 18 dash. 18 dash. 30. 30. Oh, because it was a 6. For some reason, I thought it was a 4. Yeah. yeah. 18 dash 30 for. What level are you, Ricardo? 3? For the next 3 hours. Sweet. Well, luckily, 18 dash 10 all the way through 18 dash 50 is the same. It's the same? Okay. Yeah. So that is a plus 1 to hit and a plus 2 to damage for me. And I can now carry an additional 100 pounds about. Cool. Sweet. All right, spell goes off. He gets the strength. What else do you guys do? Hey, Ricardo, you want to arm wrestle? No. <laughs> Let's get out of here. It's the ears, JP. Yeah, man, it's the ears. <laughs> he likes it. Uh, what else? What are you guys doing? We're, we we see a road, right? And we just ride the road out of town towards, hopefully, yeah. the next town. Let's gallop there, at least. And we're, we're riding single file. Yeah, we can gallop. All right, you uh, make your way through the town. Uh, which way are you going in the town? Can you describe real quick by looking at the map? Um, is you, there? You are at four. Okay, can you can you describe? Because there's no road on the map. There's can a road in the lower us? left corner. Is there a road anywhere else? Or is that the only road out of town? Oh yeah, the the mustache. That's right. <laughs> the mustache. Is uh, that... I mean, the 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 brown is basically like not paved road, but it's 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 the road of the town. So, uh, I guess we'd go like through one of like th these resident are they residential rows or whatever? Yes. So I guess we'd go through the residential and to the to the mustache. Okay, so you kind of like <laughs> cut across the town, then. Sure. Okay. Yeah. You. Uh. You. After. I don't know. Do you go slowly? Do you go loudly? Do you take your time? I think we just, just... go no normal town speed. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, normal town speed until we're out. About right. 20 minutes past, you guys get to the edge of the town, and uh, you're met by two guards at the gate. Is the gate shut or open? It's shut, yeah. Okay. Hey, what's going on, guys? Evening. Do you mind uh, allowing us passage? Uh, yeah, sure. No problem. No problem. Hey, uh, can, you, can you raise the gate? Let me hear some mechanisms at work and eventually the gate starts raising ride through all right you ride through you're outside of the town excellent i'd say once we're out of eyesight from the guards full we, speed we go into gallop yeah. Yeah. well it's not wear out the horses but yeah let's push them okay uh you guys start riding do you just follow the road what do you yeah let's just follow going? the road to the next town i like it yeah, I mean, we can decide what to do there when we're safely somewhere else. We can get maps. We can figure out where we want to go. But let's just, you know, put some miles between us. All right. Sounds good. Clearly, none of you guys have run from the law before. You make your way out of town. First day goes pretty uneventful, and you make camp. You get, I mean, you ride for the better part, of, or the entire day, unless you stop otherwise. Um, and it, uh, actually, you leave in the middle of the night. So you ride for the night. And the uh, sun starts coming up, um, and you start to realize you guys are pretty tired. Do you want to keep pushing on through the day? No. Wait, I, um, Mr. Horses I ask point. everyone prior, and also to keep an eye out for owls. And I will keep an eye out for owls. So let me know if we see any, if anyone, <laughs> if anyone willing to collaborate sees any owls. Are they nocturnal? I forget. Yes. Okay, so owls, I'd be on yeah, the lookout so. during the night. I feel like owls. not all are. Uh, okay, so Cobblepot and Ricardo on the lookout for elves. Uh, ooh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Cobblepot, you guys are riding for quite some time, uh, about three hours in, and you spot a owl, uh, like, flying and soaring over you guys. C uh, Ricardo, look! Oh, I need to fuck that owl up! Wait! Uh, Melf's acid... Cast sleep! What? Cast sleep on it. Sleep! Wait, I don't, I don't think I did. I hold up. Well, shit. Oh, oh yeah, I have it. Sleep. Uh, Can I try to run and catch it so it doesn't like hit the ground at full force? Well, we want its feathers anyway. Aren't we just gonna kill and eat owl? <laughs> let's, just, let's just cut a feather <laughs> off. I'm pretty thing. hungry, Riley. I kind of want some food. You don't want to eat an owl. Why not? Do they have owls in the Probably tastes like chicken. Owls 
are our closest descendant to dinosaurs that we have. What's a dinosaur? Because owls are nice. They didn't hurt us. Yeah, neither does the deer or the chicken that I eat. I, I run to try and catch the owl. Okay. The owl falls asleep, and as you, uh, as you put him to sleep, he starts slowly descending, in a, or actually rapidly descending in front of you. Okay. And Riley is going to go catch it? Yeah, Riley, you're trying to save it? Sure. Uh, give me a horse riding. You have horse riding proficiency, <laughs> right? It. Yeah, I do. Can you roll against that? Roll d20 plus that? Uh, I don't know what I add to it. You roll whatever the number is next to horse riding. Does it not have a number next to it? It should be your wisdom plus three. Yeah. Or willpower plus three. So it should be 15. D20 plus 15. Oh, yeah. You you have no problem and catch the, the owl as it's fallen. All right. I take out one of my swords and I slice off. Does it have to be a wing feather, or can it be any feather? It didn't specify. You, you don't um, know. It's just owl feather, but I yell at her, either way. Why don't way. you let Ricardo do it? He knows what feathers yeah, he needs. I, I know. Oh, please don't. Please don't touch the owl, Riley. Give. But I, I have a sword right here. I can cut off the feathers for you. Why would you cut the feather? Why don't you just you... pluck the feather? Yeah. Um, Plus, okay. it's not. Plus, just just gift. There's something. Give it, there's, yeah. I You're really. Let the magic user get his own ingredients. I don't you know, know if he's strong enough to pluck the feathers out. You, you wouldn't trust him to buy you swords or armor, would you? You wouldn't trust him to feed Argo. Just give him the damn I just, bird. I don't think he's strong enough to pluck out the feathers. I'm strong enough to pluck out the feathers. I'll help him with his guidance. All right, Ricardo. I'll give you this owl. And I hold it out slightly. If you put on at least one of those rings. Why would I put on one of those rings? I just I want to see what it does. Not here. Let's uh, we'll identify them soon. 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 All right. I. I said I was acting sketchy. I pull the owl closer to my chest. Damn el puto. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> No one's getting this owl. That, that so means give me the fucking on. owl in, El in Elvish. In brown Riley, Elvish. <laughs> Riley, just <laughs> give us the Elvish. owl. What are you doing? Why? Why do you have to hurt it? We're not hurting the owl. We're taking some feathers from the owl so he can identify these rings. And then you're going to release it? That's up to Ricardo. Why do you care so much about one owl? The forest is filled with owls. I care about all forest creatures. Riley, are you vegetarian? Thank you. That's what I was going to ask. I mean, I was raised in a forest. So, no? That didn't answer my question. <laughs> I was raised in the forest, even with all the animals. Are well, you I think, vegetarian? I didn't, I didn't eat meat before. I don't know. Sure. But I think I ate bugs. So, no, I don't think so. Okay. Well, uh, JP, I'm going to begin casting something. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Give me the owl, please. Cardo, you should put her to sleep. I can't. I already used it. I think, I think we should continue on to the next town. They'll be here any moment. The yeah, owl sure. will wake up and I will leave. Please let me do my job first. Will you kill the owl after? I might, but if you don't give it to me, I promise I will kill Argo in your, when you're sleeping. Uh, yeah, I'd like to see you try and then pull out one of my swords. Uh, oh, Riley. I, got, I try and interpose myself between the two of them. Guys, guys, let's not get hasty here. Riley, I've wanted to kill Ricardo many, many times. I know what you're feeling right now. It's like he comes from a different culture. Remember the misunderstanding with the pants earlier? He doesn't know what he's saying. Just give him the owl so we can get the spell components so we can go on with our life. When you pull your sword, Rich does says, says that. Uh, Riley, can you give me a save versus spell? <laughs> What do I roll? It's next to your HP. Uh, it should say SPL, I think, is what it is. Oh, yeah. 
And you have to roll higher than whatever that is. 16 or higher on a d20. Wait, is it just spell or is it... Spell, yeah. 16 or higher on a d20. No, no, no. Just a, just a straight d20. So you, oh. you... And you rolled a 16 or higher? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I see. 17. No, no, no we'll, no, we'll count the 17. 17. Okay. Uh, so you pass, and uh, you have your sword out. Nothing happens. Do I know that something was casted on me? Uh, would you know that? I mean, you saw... Everyone saw uh, Cobblepot casting a spell. But I'm not sure if you would know if it's cast on you. Alright, I pay no attention to it. Cobblepot's okay. always being mysterious about his spells. Yes. Yes, he is. What is Cobblepot? But yeah, casting this time. <sighs> Alright, I'll just... pull out I pull out some of the feathers on the bottom of the owl. Um balance. Like when I pull out one maybe by its leg, I pull out one that's also by its leg on the other side. And then again I say, Come on, let's keep going to the next town. You pull out a feather? Riley, we're we're starving. We we should actually eat the owl. I, I don't think this one owl would even feed any of us. Even if you know what? I think it will. An owl's just, pretty big. Let's just Tastes let like the chicken. owl be. It's fine. Okay, just give me like ten feathers, and I want to have extra. All right, I pluck out five from each of those areas. Uh, when you pluck out the first one, the thing wakes up and oh. goes to uh, strike at you. What's your AC? Sixteen. Uh. <laughs> the owl plucks your eyeballs out, you die. <laughs> uh, one of the claws goes to strike at you, and you pull back, but the second one you weren't ready for, and he actually claws at your hands, and you take two points of damage. All right. I ready my spear. Are we actually rolling Impale initiative that against shit. this Kill thing? It. If, if you want to, I mean, if you guys want to roll initiative, then roll, roll initiative. Roll initiative, I guess, yeah. <laughs> It Riley is, in, it it is in Riley's arm, though, so yeah. you tell me. It's up to y'all. I'm going to roll initiative. Okay. Okay. Nice. That's, uh... Party goes first. Okay, uh, I'm going I'll to walk save... up to the owl. Okay, go ahead. I was going to say, I'm going to save my action. If the uh, owl gets free, I want to... Uh, I want to delay my action until the owl gets free, and then I want to throw my spear at it as it flies away. Okay, noted. But Riley doesn't oh, know that's my yeah. plan. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> mm, Riley, I think you need to put this thing down. It's going to try and kill you. No, I'm fine. I'll walk up, Riley. I'll say I'm sorry, Riley, and I'll shocking grasp. I'll like put my hand on on, on the owl's head. I'll I'll use I'll cast shocking grasp. Uh. Is there a save for that? I don't think so. He's got to roll to hit. Oh yeah, you do got to roll to hit. That's right. But give me a give me a d20. If, are you even a real elf, Ricardo? Owls are forest guardians. You wouldn't harm one. Uh no. What lore? No, not not in my town. Not in uh, not in my town. They're not. Not in Brown Elfia. I would argue since it's yeah. being held by Riley, he gets a bonus to hit. How are you I don't think right. I'm holding it anymore. Like, How are you Actually, since it's being held by Riley, it, it hits her too. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's what <laughs> happened. But he hasn't. Uh, the, the owl hasn't acted yet because uh, you guys won the initiative roll. So, no, it, it's still in Riley's, however she's holding it. But it, it is alive and, and kicking. So, do you shock and grasp it, Ricardo? Yeah, it's shock and grasp it. Since it's being held, it. you just straight up shock and grasp her. Or shop, yeah, shock okay. and grasp it. You don't have to roll to hit or anything. So I need a yeah. D8 plus 3. You'll be fine, Riley. <laughs> there are 4. Uh, Riley, you take... F do you get to roll for half damage here? I don't think you do. <clears throat> yeah, I think you just take the full damage. Yeah, there's no save. Alright, you take uh, 4 points of damage and the L takes the owl is basically uh like cooked 
in front of you. It cooked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what I was going for. <laughs> he, he squirms a little bit in your arms, and then so he just goes So are all his feathers charred? They're not usable? Yeah, yeah. All right, I fall, are you I real? fall back off my horse. Well, actually, hold on. Uh, a good part of him is charred where you touched him, like right where you put your hand on the owl. But there are some feathers yeah. that are okay throughout his... The rest would be like electrocuted, right? It wouldn't be like burnt. Right, right. Right, okay, cool. So, uh, okay, guys. We got ourselves a nice cooked owl now. So do I fall off my horse? Or am I just good sitting with six points of damage taken? Uh, four points of damage. I don't know. The uh, owl. Oh, the owl. Wait, what? Oh, oh, the owl. Uh, no, no, no. You, uh... Actually, you would be jolted a little bit. Give me a, a dex check just to make sure. Or, or no, dex checks. Yeah, d20 plus 15. Yeah, you have no problem staying on your horse. Uh, but you um, do take 6 damage, so you are at 11 HP. Okay, so I guess I just yell, what the fuck, at Ricardo. But I'm not going to like that. And I say, listen, we need to eat. This owl is going to be delicious. We don't get to... We don't even have to start a fire to cook it. And I need my fucking feathers. Now, if you please will, give me my owl so we can continue marching. Oh, am I still holding I'll it? I'll try to... Yeah, it's still in your arms unless you let go. Alright, so I take it. And with all my strength... I guess Ricardo is right beside me. So I can. I, like, chuck it really hard at his head. <laughs> okay. Uh, give me a d20. Uh, it goes right by your head, Ricardo. You have to, to duck to move out of the way, but it doesn't hit you. Uh, would I try to catch it then? Is that possible? Oh, isn't he right there? It, it's, it's a shitty roll, but no, you miss. <laughs> uh, <laughs> do you try to catch it? It, yeah. you're, you're too close. You you weren't uh, quick enough to react, so it goes like right by your head. Okay. Is okay. someone behind me able to catch Look, it? Look, we've got the feathers. Oh, I guess we have some food. It's already cooked. Let's have a meal. Let's move off the road. Keep a little bit out of sight. Rest up for a little while in the day. Maybe try and get some sleep. Move on. Hopefully we can get to the next town. Can we stop acting like five-year-olds, please? Yes. Let's go. Thank you. That sounds like a plan. I pick up the owl, and I agree with Rich. I don't know about the other two. When you pick up the owl, there is a uh, <gasps> a okay. large swooping noise. And uh, it swoops down on you, Ricardo. And let's see here. Oh, God. Mom, Mom owl. I guess I'll just roll this in D20. You take... Actually, I can roll here. Ooh. Please don't let me die to an owl. You take uh, five points of damage as this owl swoops in at you. It would be pretty ironic. Uh, going really, really fast. Um, strikes at you twice with its talons. And then he basically like claws you on your shoulders, grabs you by your shoulders, and then his beak comes in and like pecks at your head. And you are at... Ouch! You're at three HP. Um, wow. You shouldn't have I would like to roll initiative <laughs> so I can uh, throw my hand axe at that yeah. bastard. He took five and he's at three? He has eight HP total. What? <laughs> I didn't realize. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you think that's funny? <laughs> it's so tiny. He's a wizard. He's squishy. I know. I just, okay. Uh, the owl goes first. Continues to strike against Ricardo. No. Uh, it once again strikes. Oh, sorry. It strikes at you with its two talons. One of them hits <laughs> for one damage, and then it goes to Peck again, and does indeed hit for one damage. You take two more hits, uh, two more damage. You're at one HP. So I'm bleeding. No, I guess I'm not bleeding. Like uh, I'm not you're, bleeding. You're pretty death, fucked up, man. Bleeding. Like yeah. this guy's clawed the shit out of your shoulders, and you've got like these uh, bits of, uh, like, <laughs> bits of flesh missing on your head from where this owl has pecked at your head. Drop the baby! <laughs> Drop the baby! I want to hurl my hand axe at the owl. 
My plus one magic hand act. Uh, okay. Roll, roll whatever your, uh, your two yes. hit is. D20 plus what, two? Plus two, and it's magic act, so plus one to hit for that. So D20 plus three. Okay. 19. Yeah, that's a, uh, that's a hit. Uh, D6 plus one. Four damage to the owl. Yeah, you, it, it, I, where, wherever it hits the owl, the owl is basically the size of this hand axe, so you just fucking knock this thing off of Ricardo, and it goes flying back a little bit, probably about three or four yards, or feet, and Ricardo's just sitting there, like, all bloodied up, with an owl sitting in his hands. It's uh, right, a little bit charred. I have double the food. I will cast uh, Cure Moderate Wounds on Ricardo. Okay. Oh, shit. Sick. Uh, what, is the, what is the roll again? I believe it's D10 plus 1. D10 plus 1. Is that a new spell? And then Five. roll a D4. So, 9, nine. HP healed. You're full. You're at full. Oh, I've had Thanks it. Thanks a lot. No problem. Oh, you always use fucking Cure Light Wounds. Well, you know, you, that owl took a lot of skin off your forehead, buddy. That he did. My head, not my forehead. My forehead's fine, right? Yeah, yeah. It's it's like little patches of your, your head where there's uh, like bits of hair and also flesh that have been like chewed out from where <sighs> he struck you. Sorry, man. I'm going to invent this thing called a, a wig. <laughs> You're going to be just fine. Yes, please. I hope you're happy, Riley. Is the mother owl like badly injured? <laughs> the mother owl? It was just another owl. It, you don't I think it died. Its mother. Yeah. Oh, it's it's definitely dead. Like the oh, hand okay. axe is within this thing, uh, a couple feet from where Ricardo was standing. Some more feathers for you, Ricardo. Yep. Okay, and more food as well. I guess let's go. Let's go ahead with the plan. You notice after. I after this encounter, oh. that the uh, the sun's starting to rise. So, um, let's go. And I start riding off the road a little bit. Yeah, I follow yeah. You guys are going off into the wilderness a little bit? Yeah, I just want to go like th 100 yards off the road. Okay. You're riding through the forest. Same direction, like following the road the opposite, or the, the same way? To the best of your ability? Mm-hmm. The way we were traveling on the road already. All right, yeah. No problem. Uh, how long do you guys travel for the rest of the day? Well, I mean, we should set up camp, eat, and wait, wait, no, sleep. I, just 100 yards off the road. Oh, so oh, oh. Yeah. I thought you were traveling. Oh, you're setting up camp 100 yards off the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're just traveling 100 yards off the road to gotcha. set up camp. Okay, yeah. You life. guys make it 100 yards off the road. You're you're sitting in a uh, basically in a very, very entrenched forest. Uh, there's good cover all around you, and you start making camp. 